the song of the lyrebird on the other side of this disc is the first recording ever made in the Australian bush of a wild bird in its natural surroundings. The lyrebird has been chosen because it is the premier songster of Australia and is probably the world's greatest mockingbird. The lyrebird is extremely rare and shy. It lives only in the dense forests along the eastern and southeastern coasts of Australia. No bird even resembling it is found in any other part of the world. Both male and female are about the size of domestic fowls. They feed on centipedes, beetles and worms, roost in trees and are weak flyers. The male alone wears the beautiful lyre-shaped tail from which the species has received its name. This ornament is usually carried, frailed and folded. But during the courting season, which is the depth of winter, he prances and sings on small clearings or mounds, with his tail thrown forward over his head, so that the conspicuously marked underside is presented to view. The female is also able to sing, but is mostly occupied with domestic duties. She lays one large stone-colored egg each year. While you listen to the record, we want you to imagine the setting as dense mountain forest cold and damp, shrouded in cloud and fog. You will hear the wind howling through the giant gum tree, 200 feet high, which tower above black woods, and a tangled profusion of tree fern, sassafras, hazel and musk, so that the winter sunlight rarely reaches the fern clad ground. Visualize a small clear space in this glorious setting, and imagine the elusive bird his fine tail spread and lowered over his head until it almost touches the ground in front of him. Remember that the bird you will hear is singing his own wild song in the dense forest and that the nearest human being was a quarter of a mile away. Although only three minutes of song can be given on the record, the performance frequently lasts for half an hour. The lyre bird's powers of mimicry are simply uncanny. The variety of sounds which are produced in the one throat is remarkable, and the volume is such that the song may be heard several hundred yards away. And by some mysterious power, the bird is able to reproduce multiple sounds, such as the chorus of several kookaburras, or the alarm notes of a flock of parrots. Some of the charm of the song will be lost, unless the listener knows these borrowed calls, and for that reason we will endeavor to identify a few of the mere most outstanding for you on the other side of this record. Thank you. 